so if you just finish building your split keyboard or even normal keyboard and you want to flash your firmware with Q and K you landed in the right place because I just finished building this very sweet and now I need to flash firmware to it so first things first we're going to head over to QMK configurator and then just search the model of our keyboard so I'm gonna type like sweep and uh, eventually this is the fire sweep so I'm just gonna select it it's going to select the layout for it and uh, ask you to select the name for the key map which I'm going to call sweep map just very simple to remember and after this you can see down here you have the layers and how it works so if like I press uh, some keys I can see what key will be pressed so like pressing this key and keeping it uh, uh, pressed will uh, get me to this layer right here and you can modify this as you want but I will leave it stock for the moment so now you want to do is compile this firmware so go over here on top and uh, click compile and this potato will pop up on your screen and eventually will not take long and at the end of this compiling you can uh, download the X file which is what we need to flash our firmware so, so now it's finished and we can just go here and uh, let me show you real quick uh, we can download firmware so it's going to have this firmware thing and you want to download this once it downloads, uh, you will drag it where you can remember. So I just put it on my desktop. And now what you want to do is open QMK configurator, uh, QMK toolbox, uh, like this, and open your file. So just click open and uh, choose your file. So I'm going to go on to my uh, desktop here and select the file we just downloaded. And now we will need to flash this thing. Uh, so I'm using Promicros, which has uh, 80 mega 32 U4. So I will not need to change this. Uh, it's fine like this. But just check what microcontroller you're using. Now we want to connect it like this. Um, and you want to short the reset pins on your keyboard. Uh, so you can see they are kind of hidden there. You can even uh, uh, solder a uh, reset button, but I didn't, so I'm going to have to shorten with something like this copper wire. Just shorting them like this, and that will you will see uh, a green uh, line, a uh, yellow line, if you did everything correctly. And now you can just uh, set the endness but disconnected right now so just try to do that once again so once you connect your device you can go to tools and set the left hand in this case because I'm using the left hand and once it's completed we want to flash our firmware so in this case it didn't work at the first time and I needed to do it once again so, so just reset it the uh, per micro once again and just flash the firmware as I did before so set the endness and flash the firmware once again and it worked it, uh, it took like a few seconds and now we are going to do the same thing for the other uh, part of this keyboard so just take the keyboard plug it in uh, this is the right hand so we will want to reset the board once again as you can see it was like mirroring it so uh, I realized I fucked up and I had to flash again the firmware so it, it was like it kept the left handedness as you can see it's inverted so just unplug it once again 
and connect it with the for the right hand here so I can go on to my QMK toolbox again so just open QMK toolbox and we already have the file so all I need to do is just short the pins just like this and set the right hand set right hand right here and once it's done we are going to uh, reset it once again just like this and flash our firmware so to flash the firmware just like this it's done now we can disconnect it and connect the two keywords together If I try now to type with it, it's like it should, so not mirrored. Uh, and uh, if you find this video helpful, uh, consider subscribing and leaving a like, that would be really appreciated. And thanks for following along this journey. I hope I'd help you a bit, and see you on the next one.